Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sexy Saturdays, and I'm Misty Eyes with Queens of the Week. This week's topic is from Misty Eyes, and this week we are talking about human marriage. In the United States of America and Ireland, you are now absolutely allowed to marry another human. Whether you or they are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transsexual, it doesn't matter. You're allowed to marry another human being. No matter who they are or what you are, you can marry another human. Welcome to an amazing world. Like you saw my topic from last week, America is the 20th country to allow human marriage. I'm so glad that we are now on board with this progressive movement of human rights. Now this week, I want to talk about marriage. Do you ever see yourself getting married? Do you ever see yourself having kids? Do you see yourself in a gown or tuxedo at your wedding? Tell us about your wedding. What does your ring look like, for example? All right, so my wedding. Yes, I absolutely do see myself getting married. I see myself in a fairy tale princess wedding. I see myself in a beautiful condo overlooking the ocean. <laughs> I see myself definitely with a husband. My wedding ring. All right, so I definitely feel proportion is very important. I like things that are proportionate. As a big, beautiful woman, I think big, beautiful jewelry is important. So obviously, I will want a big, huge wedding ring. Something that will make my hands look petite and delicate and small. The diamond's underneath the prong, underneath the basket. Halo, look at that diamond. Four carats of perfection. Sometimes when I see a petite wedding ring, I think it makes you look fatter or bigger. And as a big, beautiful woman, I definitely never want to look bigger. I want to look smaller and more proportionate. So I do do things that are obscenely large and over the top and big. So definitely, if I ever get married, I want my wedding ring to be monstrous. You know what, to confession, I don't even care if it's a real diamond as long as it's like insane. Just cover the rest of the ring with real diamonds and put the big, huge one fake, I don't care. But I definitely need a huge, huge ring. I think a lot of times I've seen wedding rings. Obviously as a woman, we all think about our wedding and we think about our future and we think about that. So I've seen wedding rings that are a big, big engagement ring and then they have the double-sided wedding ring. Definitely like the idea. Also, I like wedding rings that are multiple layers or thick, really thick. If you cannot afford a big, huge stone, get a huge, thick ring. Because again, my finger is very big and I'll need a big ring. My wedding dress. Um, in my fantasy, I definitely see me... Hello, I'm a woman. I definitely see me in a huge wedding dress. And I'm kind of thinking something Cinderella, princess, goddess, huge. I will definitely be wearing white. But I will also definitely be having sex with my husband before we get married. But I will still be wearing white. Um, definitely a huge white princess gown. Huge, gorgeous diamond ring. Um... And you know, quite honestly, parts of me think that I will invite any person I've ever met in my entire life to my wedding. And then parts of me think that I will just invite the tender few people that really do mean a lot. Um, what will my husband be like? My husband will be, well, physically, I'm attracted to tall, dark, and handsome. Um, growing up blonde and blue-eyed, I never was attracted to blonde-haired people. I think with my mother's fascination for Elvis, always made me attracted to dark hair. So I definitely was always like, oh, 
Dark haired people are beautiful. I like dark haired people. They're hot and sexy. So I've always been attracted to brunettes. Um, eye color doesn't matter. Deep, deep, dark brown eyes are very sexy to me. Also, dark brunettes with bright eyes, I think, are beautiful too. Um, as a gringa with a pinga, I've always been attracted to Latinos. I've dated many, many, many Puerto Ricans. Um, I like Latinos, Cubans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, uh, Mexicans. I've dated many Latino cultures, and I do like many Latino cultures. Um, my husband... You know, but the most important thing to me, and I, I hate to say this out loud, but stereotypically, I want to be treated as a pretty, pretty princess. I want my husband to be, to treat me and worship me like the goddess slash princess that I am. If a man truly goes out of his way to make me feel beautiful and special and take care of me and protect me and offer, open the doors and take off the trash and truly treat me like a pretty, pretty princess... That's definitely a turn on and, you know, giving me massages and rubbing my feet after work and just making me feel beautiful. Wow. I could definitely spend my life with a person like that. Um, intelligence is important. Um, but at the same time, I'm really interested in being just a normal person. Like I want to, you know, play card games with other couples and just being like, I don't have to be showy and I don't have to be, I don't need a stage husband. I just need a husband, you know? Um, I don't know because after the lights go out and the show's over, I usually just come home and it would be nice to come home to somebody. Hmm. But yes, I definitely do see myself getting married. I see myself in a beautiful, huge wedding dress with a beautiful, huge wedding ring. And, um, yeah, life is beautiful. And I definitely am thankful that I live in a country where, as a gay, bisexual, transsexual, you can marry another straight, gay, or bisexual, transsexual. It's nice to be an American right now. Anyways, that was Misty Eyes with Queens of the Week. Loving you is easy.